All right, here's a, a quick little short video on, in Audition on how to do some basic trims um, on a clip, um, fades, and also adjust the gain. These are like three things that you're going to be doing with most of your work. So I'm in the multi-track view. Obviously, we have the, the waveform view over here as well where you can import just that. And um, your fades are going to be here. Um, same on the back side, same with the gain here. Um, but I'm going to just work in the multi-track view because you're going to most likely be using that um, to bring a bunch of clips together to create an actual uh, news piece that's going to have a, a lot of different um, types of audio, whether it's voiceovers, whether it's field recordings, interviews, um, music, whatever it be, intros, outros, all that kind of stuff. You'll end up doing it most of the time in this uh, multi-track view. So quickly here. Um, this is an audio clip. I'll play it for you. This is some test audio, sequence one. So that sounds all right. It's maybe a bit loud. Um, so the, the reason I recorded it that way is we're going to make a few adjustments. First thing to look at uh, is that there's some dead space at the front and there's some dead space at the at the back side. So what you can do is grab the razor tool up here like you do with um, any other sort of premiere or whatever editing. You can make some cuts. And what we're going to do is we're going to make cuts there, go back to our pointer tool, and then we're just going to delete, highlight and click delete or backspace on the, on the keyboard, um, and remove those bits, and then have another listen. This is some test audio, sequence one. This cool. is some. So that works there. Um, there's no dead space. So then the next thing to think about is fades. Fading in is like this where you click and drag, and then you can go up and down to adjust the curves. Same with fade outs. These are the icons for both of them. Um, the idea is that you would fade between clips so that they're not abrupt pieces. So if you if you were to take this um, and have two pieces, um, you wouldn't just have them run into each other because it, it's quite abrupt and a listener will notice those things. So what you end up doing is you end up fading clips so that they work better in sequence. Um, so we'll just start with the first one here. So let's say we want to fade in. So the, by fade, it means it ramps the volume up and then ramps the volume down. When you drag this across, you can see um, it will adjust the waveform for you. Um, and then you'll have fades. Uh, this is some test play. audio, sequence one. This and you this can play it back audio, like that. Sequence one. Um, one thing to think it's about too is um, the overall gain is right here. So you can start there. This is some test audio, sequence one. And obviously at the bottom here, you can track your levels all the way through too. So making an adjustments like that, they're just very, very simple, but you'll be doing that with most of your stuff. Um, and then if you have multiple clips in the future, let's say there's no fade here um, and no fade here. Uh, let's say you have two pieces. You've, you've done an intro and this is leading into your first piece uh, here. Um, this is just a wider view. You can fade into that clip. You're speaking, you're speaking, you're speaking. When you're ready to make the next transition, you can take those clips and merge them together like this to create crossfades. So you're grabbing the, the clip uh, ahead of the previous one and you slide it over the top like that and it creates a crossfade. And then you can hear this. Like, test audio, sequence one. This is some test audio, sequence one. That's a, a, a something that you'll probably use, especially if you're transitioning from maybe a voiceover, which is really clean audio. And then maybe you're going out to someone who's in the field doing an interview and there'll be background noise and all those things. These yeah, subtle fade in and fade outs will make your piece feel a lot more cohesive. Um, and as you build a, a larger sequence, you'll need to get in the habit of doing this because when you get into Premiere Pro as well with your visuals, it's a good idea to fade in and fade out in certain situations to make it a little bit more appealing for viewers. And it's... Um, things that are done day to day that you probably see and uh, you, you possibly didn't even realize that you were you're viewing it or hearing it. So there you go. Quick uh, couple of tips. Fades, gain, um, and cross fades by dragging things in. Uh, again, razor tool up here makes some quick cuts, um, pointer tool to select and, and delete. I hope that helps. Uh, good luck with everything.